Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another reading. I am here hanging with Saucy Good Vibes, our little beaver on the channel. We little para chess popo. Guys, it's so cute. Like her little toe beans on this foot. She's got four little pink toes and then the part here, it's black on this one. And then on this one, it's all pink. It's so, it's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we wanted to come on and hang with you guys a little bit. I want to tap into the masculine energy a little bit because I've been picking up on this really like nervous feeling and like what I'm being shown is you and your divine masculine are, you're going to have like a breakthrough in your connection or like something like breaking the ice. Okay. So I'm hearing that, you know, you two have been and non-communication or maybe separate for a while you guys could like oh sorry i had to burp you guys could like work together or you know see each other in person and if you don't then it's more of like keeping in touch online checking up on each other once in a while you know whatever the dynamic is i don't feel like you guys have fully had that conversation about like I feel something for you okay and that's this nervous feeling that I'm getting like I feel like this might be for many of you who are new to the journey maybe you are very attracted to these videos because they keep validating that there's something more here with this person like it's definitely like my counterpart my twin flame um that's the vibe I'm getting here for this reading okay so it's not going to resonate for everyone it's very like new twin flame energy is what I'm getting but this nervous feeling that I'm getting is like you two break the ice okay so if you if you guys haven't spoken in a while it's like maybe adding each other back to social media or unblocking or maybe you know just feeling in a better mood posting a little bit more liking each other's photos and that's as far as it goes it's like breaking the ice and then from there it leads into messaging back and forth or if you guys know each other in person i feel like it went from like heavy eye contact saying hi what's up to each other and then it went cold or distant maybe you guys might see each other in work or maybe you have mutual friends where it's like you guys will meet up and you know you two don't really talk but they want to break the ice you know i feel like you two want to be in that place again where you do see each other or run into each other and it's like you give each other that like chin up type of like what's up <laughs> or you guys you know smile with each other or, hey how are you type of thing and then i think from breaking the ice there it's going to lead to deeper conversation in private for you guys and this big breakthrough that i think is coming for many of you is i think it's going to be the first time you guys ever say to each other like you know like where you, where have you been stranger i really missed you or i feel like your divine masculine is gonna you know finally say like i thought about you a lot and i feel like it's gonna be the first time they ever kind of low-key admit that they feel something more for you okay and that's just the vibe i'm getting for this reading all right so let's go ahead first and let's find out like how they see you divine feminine okay and also just what it's bringing up what you two are meant to learn from this you may be picking up on this nervous energy as well or you know it's like when you when you're at home if you guys are at a distance you know you might be checking your phone more oh that's way too many you might be checking your phone more or just feeling nervous butterflies feeling like they want to reach out or they're watching you okay and um, again if you guys know each other in person it's it's definitely going to be you know a little bit more eye contact saying hi to each other again after not doing that for a long period of time okay so again how, do, how does the masculine see you divine feminine okay so we have moving on and i feel like it's moving on from the disconnect okay because if you guys look these two certainly don't seem to be moving on in any other way <laughs> i think it's just kind of moving on from the past and again breaking the ice and becoming familiar and a friendly with each other again that's what i'm sensing from this card here and there's a lot of greenery around them so i feel like the connection is going to be growing to a new level um you know it really does symbolize you know let's move on from pretending that we are just friends to actually admitting that it's like yeah i think about you like at the end of the day before i go to bed at night i think about you and i think about you like 
a friend shouldn't be thinking about another friend, okay? I, I feel more than that for you. I feel like many of you are going to have that beautiful moment on your journey and I can't wait for you guys. It's so exciting, okay? It's like you guys are leaving this old version of the way you interact you're leaving it in the dust it's fading away you know it's inevitable that someone is going to admit that there's something deeper here and of course naturally it is going to change the course of your connection to them your relationship to them and we all know how that is after having that conversation and it's like you see the person the next day or the next time you talk it's like cats out of the bag <laughs> oh no pun, no pun intended i don't know why people say that i should i should look it up and I should also look up whether it's offensive to you or not to say that. Well, you're so cute. Watch now. Watch Popo now. Popo's like, I don't care. You just deliver these little pets to me. And I good. Eh? You, you, you catch out of your bag. She's like, I thought you said you weren't going to say it again until you looked up whether or not it was offensive. Popo. Okay, guys let's go ahead and get another card on how it is they see you uh divine feminine especially after moving on to this new level to this next level to this next version of the connection let's find out oh beautiful okay so the garden at the top of the world a uh, possibilities is what i'm getting from this um Oh my goodness, I don't know why I'm hearing this message, but, you know, I feel like because I talked about the workplace, for some of you, like, this could be your boss, and I'm not sure why I'm getting that. So just a side note for many of you, um, like, your Divine Masculine could be thinking a little bit bigger about this connection, and I, and I have a feeling it has to do with changing workplaces as well, just so that they could pursue a connection with you comfortably, okay? That's just for a select few of you but um you know ideally i see you know i see that the masculine looks at you like you are full of opportunity and you have the ability to take them to the top you know this has been a recurrent theme in the readings where many masculines are coming forward many masculines want to express their feelings they want to express their truth toward the feminine because that's where they feel happiest and I feel like for many of you, you keep leading back to one another, no matter how much you try to avoid the intimate feelings that you feel towards one another. Um, you know, I think it's time to reveal it and to really start planting your own seeds and creating your own path, regardless of, you know, maybe the resistance that you guys are feeling around you. Okay. Um, You know, what I'm hearing as well is because this card is your garden at the top of the world, um, you know, for many of you, you're, you're going to have to create, you know, create the lifestyles that you want for yourselves in order to pursue your dreams. Okay, so I'm seeing that for many of your masculines, like they want to be close to you. They want to, the, the relationship with you makes them think bigger. It makes them think outside of the box. Okay, that's, that's how they feel when they see you. And for many of you, they've been thinking seriously about you, especially if you guys keep going from hot and cold to hot and cold. You know, the moments that it's hot and then the moments it goes cold, they miss you in those moments that it goes cold and they want you even more than they did before. Okay, but I feel like for some of you, especially if you guys have mutual friends or if you guys are at a distance and you haven't spoken in quite some time, it's like this is a divine masculine that you know they're they're done contemplating about it they're done fantasizing about it they want to plant actual seeds with you they want to and this is what i mean a lot of them want to come clean they they, they want to like th put it out there like you know even if it's in the slightest way possible i'm getting this weird vibe guys because right now i there it's like it's spring spring is approaching okay and it's really sunny outside like the rooftops are very sunny i can see it and i'm getting this like like summer loving type of a vibe summertime magic by by childish gambino that could be a song synchronicity for some of you it's a gorgeous 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 song it might put some of you in the mood um but yeah check out that song okay it when the beat drops oh my goodness it is a gorgeous song 
um but that's just the vibe i'm getting like for some of you this summer it's it's going to be really beautiful like flirtatious um taking things to a new level let's see what the tarot of sexual magic has to say about that energy especially that summertime magic energy what do your divine masculines hope for or want or what are they looking forward to with you especially when it comes to experiences okay so we have temperance i'll just balance Har harmony i'm hearing oh goodness this could be spending quiet summer evenings with you doing things that they've never done with anybody else before because they haven't actually felt that romantic connection with anyone else that they've wanted to romance or they've wanted to oh goodness especially with this card here um i feel like for many of you this reading if you're attracted to it or if it finds you um look forward to this summer season or just the seasons changing in your favor okay this is someone who wants to get to know you this is someone who feels like you bring abundance to their life you bring balance if they have to if they have to change it up for you if they have to make certain sacrifices for this person it doesn't matter because they can start from scratch anytime they want they can build their own success from scratch anytime they want all they want to know is that you're worth it and if you're worth it and you're going to be there and you're everything that they want they don't care how they have to change up their environment this could be a divine masculine that's at a distance from you um, and they're highly independent like they would they would come to you in a minute okay because you you bring abundance you bring success you maybe take care of yourself very well um you know there's nothing in the world that can stop this connection from moving forward um is what i'm hearing you know, they want to break the ice. They want to reveal to you that there is something more here that they're feeling. All right. Um, let's go ahead and... Oh, I'm sorry. Did I scare you, baby? I'm so sorry. Oh, look at these little toes. All right. Let's go ahead and get some guidance for those of you who are feeling maybe nervous about, again, breaking the ice. The, the cards are in your favor. The cards are saying that it's time to move forward. It's time to plant seeds. It's time to take this in a new direction because, you know, the way you see this person, you couldn't have had a better card come out. This is someone that is worth taking the risk for, okay? Because it's someone who, you know, they, they can hold their own and they genuinely carry that charge of masculine and feminine balance within them as well okay that's why you want to plant seeds with them it just it feels right okay and i'm also hearing too like there's many of you who don't want this to be a secret anymore okay um what's your best course of action on this journey if this reading resonates with you if you guys are feeling nervous if you're worried about taking this in a new direction um you know ideally what is your best course of action let's go ahead and cut it in half Okay. Oh, that, I love that. Abundance is your right. Okay. So many of you deserve to be happy. Okay. Um, I'm sensing that there's maybe some of you who at times you feel very guilty. Okay. For having these feelings for your counterpart, your twin flame. I'm hearing that many of you, like if you have had that twin flame epiphany, I feel for you because I understand that it's something that you can't control. It is something that you cannot deny. And I understand when your life comes crashing down because of your you know attraction and and the bond that you have with this complete stranger or someone who should who on the outside can, appears to be a complete stranger but it's like you know to you um it, it feels so much deeper it feels like it's someone that you've known for forever you know i feel like the universe is saying you know trust us like uh, uh, your guides the universe god like trust us we are here to align you with what it is you really deserve okay and that's another message too that i'm getting from any of you who carry guilt on the journey let's say you've met your person and you're at a distance but it's like you know you're in another situation um and and you carry this guilt with you i feel like the universe is, is trying to show you what it is you're you're meant to have um but it's whether or not you can think outside of the box and and, and have the courage to plant new seeds for yourself um, i'm sensing that many of you are in other situations but your soul is not fulfilled and abundance is your birthright and when your twin flame comes into your life um you know it's it's a gift you know i remember having a conversation with a very dear friend of mine i see her as as one of the one of the, the 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 deepest seers the most serious seers that i know and she had explained to me that you know a lot of the times when our counterparts come into our lives they come as a gift and many of us can 
oftentimes reject the gift because of societal programming so that's what i i'm 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 gonna leave it at that for many of you okay make sure that you're not um that you're not looking the other way when the universe is offering you this beautiful gift because this person is is coming towards you they're they're not going to stop asking themselves should i say something should i say something i feel like your person is so innocent you're divine masculine whether it's a man or a woman i see someone silently plotting and not plotting in a bad way but it's just like strategizing planning how do i let this divine feminine whether you're a divine feminine man or woman how do I let them know low key that I there's something more here? And I feel like that's how it's going to happen. You guys are going to break the ice. You're going to talk after a long time of not talking or you're going to get closer after a long time of just being nonchalant with each other and I feel like this divine masculine is going to speak up and say a long time I missed you and that's the first time you guys are ever going to hear them say something like that. You know, I've been thinking about you. I couldn't stop thinking about you. I couldn't get you off my mind. Okay, so I can't wait for those of you who um, have yet to experience this um, because I really do feel like you're, you're going to understand that abundance doesn't only come in the form of money. It comes in the form of just beautiful experiences here, um, that twin flame epiphany, just life itself. And you're going to step into an energy of gratitude and there's a whole lot more things around you that are going to start being your birthright. Okay, so... Yeah, get ready for whoever's reading this is, okay? Me and uh, this saucy little popo love everybody. And this popo going to eat a little tuna now for Virginia. Okay, guys, we love you so much. And thank you so much for being so loving and supporting of me and Mega. And those of you who troll us in the comments, you guys are just, you're just, you're jealous that I get to love up this popo like this. Okay, those of you who have mean things to say about my popo and me in the comments, I see you guys. You guys just hating on me and Popo's connection. Eh, Popo? Eh? Eh, Popo, what do you say, Popo? Eh? What you have to say to them haters and them, Popo? God, Popo busting a little side eye there for them haters. Oh, God. Okay, at the end of the day, Popo remains unbothered. Let that be a lesson to us all. Okay, guys, I love you. You guys are wild, making me do all this wildness.